Hey, how you doing? Andrew Cartwright here, just um, saying hello. And, and you know, I wanted to talk about, I got a call from uh, 1-800-ACCOUNTANTS. And uh, they sent us an email and they were, they were hitting us up pretty hard. So they said they offered a free consultation. And I thought, you know, I guess, uh, you know, why not? So we set up a consultation, he called. And uh, I got on the phone with the guy, he asked me my name. He asked me the company, he asked me the, you know, uh, address. He asked me all kinds of different questions without really addressing anything that had to do with a consultation about accounting. Funny thing is, I had a specific question for him because one of the companies has a, a loss carry forward. That's where you um, lose a bunch of money and um, the IRS lets you basically um, carry that loss forward into other years that you might make money. So it's called a, um, you know, a net loss carry forward. So uh, NOL, maybe you've heard of it. But at any rate, um, he couldn't answer that question. And then when he did answer it, he said that basically it was only one year, which I know to be false. But right away, first of all, he shouldn't have been answering the question because I did ask him if he had a um, license uh, for accounting and he doesn't have an accounting license. Um, and he was, he was basically pretty rude and uh, pretty self-important, at least <laughs> what it sounded like. And when I got off the phone with him, uh, or I, when I was getting to the end of the conversation, he, was, he asked me a pointed question. He goes, well, what did you really expect to get out of this phone call? And I thought to myself, well, I expected a free consultation. That's uh, what was promised was a free consultation. But there was no consultation. In fact, it was just a um, way to gather more and more data, more and more data about me to further probably try and sell me something. And then, of course, he's trying to sell me on, on their company, uh, which is not what I called for. I didn't call to get a sales pitch. I called to get a free consultation, a consultation about the way, you know, I'm doing my taxes or the way I should do it. I, yeah, I have seven companies, you know, um, and uh, probably in the next few years, I'll probably have almost 12. I go up and down, you know, uh, companies succeed. Um, if one's not doing well, I'll sell it or close it um, and then try something new. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I try different things. So, and some of those come with losses and those losses, um, you want to be able to write off against uh, income you've made in other companies. So for the most part, I got nothing that was promised, nothing that was promised. And um, note to yourself, just to, just to tell you, in sales, say what you mean and mean what you say. Establish trust, be extremely transparent. Um, I was sitting next to somebody that runs, uh, you know, I'm sitting next to uh, the wife and she's, uh, she runs a hundred million dollar fund. You got a hundred million dollar fund that she's CEO of talking to an accounting firm. And I had mentioned to the guy, hey, by the way, I run seven companies, uh, she runs a fund. Um, and at that point, if I was that guy, I would have gotten an accountant on the line or moved up the ladder faster than you could possibly imagine. They lost so much money on that call because they're not gonna get our business. And I said, it, it isn't, a, we weren't looking for a shallow conversation. We were looking for actually having an in-depth, going deep into the conversation about accounting. And we got nothing of sort. So my point is, you know, when you put stuff out there, say what you mean, mean what you say, and deliver on your promises. Um, I think, uh, you know, we're all frustrated with people, with companies that don't um, basically uh, deliver on their promises. And you want to make sure that when you're calling somebody that you can trust them and they're transparent and that they're there to help you. Um, not that you're just, you know, a way to make money. I, I felt like I was just looked at like a dollar bill. How can we get this guy in our system so we can collect money from him every month? We don't care about him. We don't care about his needs. We don't care who he is or what he is. And yet they lost possibly a huge customer. any rate, that's just me. I'm sure that um, they seem like they're doing well by their branding and everything like that. But, um, you know, I guess we'll see. Time always tells, right?
So you can win for a little while with some clever tactics and some good SEO and some good SEM, but offering true value in the marketplace at the end of the day is gonna make the difference of whether you succeed or fail. At least that's for 30 years. I've noticed if I can't deliver value that people perceive as value, then um, even if I'm delivering value, which um, you know you can try like hell, but if people don't perceive that as value, um, you're not gonna get the trade off of actually making money with that value. So anyways, have an awesome day. Uh, I wish the best for you, and um, I hope that you get everything you want in life. Take care. This is Andrew Cartwright um, signing off or saying goodbye. Talk to you later.